and now we open the control software. When we open the control software, the print the cap station will start to moving down and moving up. Then this is the interface of the control software. So from the software we can see it has some uh, icons on the top. File is for choose the file you want to print. After P after rip, we can only choose the file after rip named the PRN format. This PRN format is the file for print. The JPEG cannot print the directory. We must put the JPEG or T format to the to the rip after rip. Then we have find, then we will have the file named the PRN. We load the PRN file for print. Then here is the print icon to start print, uh, stop or pause for printing. Test uh, this test printing for not a check print or for some uh, horizontal and vertical calibration. Here is for clean the print head. We can choose normal, strong for each print head or for all heads. And it's for flashing. And here is for flash open and flashing for flash ink out. And here's for left, move the color to left, move the color to right, and here's for fit the, the film, and it's for forward the film, the, the, the media. X cone is for move the carriage back to home position. And this, this margin is for the zero printing position. Zero means the edge of the film. And we must put the film at the middle of the table. At this for little adjustment for the bad election. The print speed we can choose slow, normal, or fast for printing. For high speed, for high quality printing, we choose normal. A print election is to right to left or bad election. So for also for high resolution printing, we choose to left or to right. For faster speed, we choose bad election. But we must do the alignment calibration for bad election. Then we can use the bad election. And the white ink open and close. If we print on the film, we must keep the white ink option open for always. Then we go to the job. This is all the settings belong to the job. So first is the task. When we load a file, then we choose the file. It will show the pass model, six pass or twelve pass. Twelve pass. The more pass number, the the more high quality printing quality, but the speed will be more slowly. So print on DTF, we can choose different model. If we want to have print, high printing quality, you choose 12. If you want to print fast, you choose 6 pass. And then repeat print, you, we can print the same image by one copies or two copies. The X copy is means the image of, a, of the X axis. So if you job is more than 60 cm, we can put more copies. The maximum width cannot be bigger than 60 cm. The Y copy is the printing job for the, for the Y axis. The space we can set for each. And the, here you have a, a rear cutting. That means we don't, we don't want to print a full image. For example, I just want to print a half or, or the certain picture, we just uh, adjust the square to the printing position we want to print. If we choose this area, then we start print. Then the printer will only print the select area for print. If we click off, it, it will print all the position. The white ink layer, we just keep the white ink on bottom. And work ink back, we just close. And all we just keep as default. For the white ink density, if we want to put more white ink for print, we can put by two copies or three copies to get the best uh, white ink density. The more white ink print, the more slowly for the speed. But the white ink density will be bigger, but better. So this is all the setting plan to task. Here you have ink limit. If we don't want too much white ink, the white ink is pr print out, white ink is breathing, it's dropping, we can reduce cut a little bit down for the white ink limit. Normally we just keep zero. If you use the 12 pass or has high resolution print, we can cut down a little bit to prevent the white ink printing job leaking on the film. 
So this is the ink limit setting. And then we go to the setting. First is the basic setting. Here have the already have the setting for DTF set, default setting. We just keep all as default as this. For the vector feeder leader label is for improve the printing quality. If you want to print more fast, so we can reduce the vector label, but no less than 20% for better quality. Normally we just uh, use 30% for better quality and speed. And if here we have the color bar option, the color bar means it will put uh, uh, lines, a color bar with KCMY and white ink on the left or right side or both sides of the picture to prevent the, the nozzle clock doing some nozzles without print. Because for example, we print on some picture, but the picture all are just only one color, for example, only one black color. But the cyan magenta don't have any piece on the picture. So if we be doing long-term printing, the cyan and the magenta nozzle will not print ink. That in this way, the cyan and the magenta nozzle will be easy to get clogged. So for preventing this kind of problems, we can set the color bar open, we choose left, right, or both sides to prevent the some nodes clock. As no no this kind of color picks on the picture. So this is for color bar. And for printing cleaning and edit cleaning, you can set off because we already have keep way system and the color bar option. But if you leave the machine for a long time, for five hours or, or four hours, not printing, you can open the add cleaning, so the machine will start to clean automatically to for, 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 for maintain the printer. And the fear ink for the DTF is not used. It's for, the, for some certain using. So this is a setting for basic setting. Then we go to the head setting. The head setting, it have First is the ink type print wave. The print wave is match with the ink model and brand because different ink have different uh, different different viscosity and the viscosity must match with the print frequency and the wave. So we already set up some waves for support or focus ink printing. So we just keep as default as use the viscosity three density three for print DTF printing. Just keep at this four as default. But if you change another brand ink, so this kind of printed wave may not working for your new brand ink. So you need to set or take the original ink from focus. Then it have overlap to left, overlap to right setting. Here is for color offset printing adjustment. The use is for also the vertical adjustment overlap. All of these three settings are used for alignments for the first time you install the print head to the printer. It is used for set, be sure the the color layer and the white layer print out layer with the same partition without overlap. Because if because if the top white ink layer print on a set different position of the color layer on the bottom, then we will have run, run print out job quality. So this is all for the first time you install print head for alignment. Later Master B will have the tutorial video to teach you how to do the alignment calibration for the print left and the print right and also the vertical calibration. So this is all for calibration. Then we go to the system. From the system we can see have voltage setting temperature this kind of two setting just keep as default is for for the engineer using for the user and no need to set anything of this parameter. Then we go to the calibration. From the calibration, we have bad like string step calibration and also the color calibration. All of this calibration all are finished before the machine delivery. So this kind of calibration we no need to do any change. Just keep as keep as default. 
if you change any number parameter from here, we will have wrong printing quality. We have the wrong printing job. Then we go to noise adjustment. This is also for engineer using. They usually no need to do any setting. So on the system, we just uh, no need to do any change. Keep as default. It's okay. So this is all the all the software interface and the function explanation. Is, is